I'm in a bad spot here. We're getting lots of splats, but it's not going to matter if I can't get the Rainmaker through. Up, up, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Can I get over that? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, guys. It's Adam, a.k.a. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon. We're going to play the new Rainmaker mode today, but first, there's some good news for anyone with a Wii U that wants to try out Splatoon. Nintendo is having another batch of their global test fire events. Now this is a free online demo that you can download from the eShop, but it is limited to certain dates and times. For North America, they'll happen three times on August 21st through the 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern. And in Europe, there's even more times to play. Too many to read out, so I'm just gonna post them here for you. Now if you're still on the fence about this game, I'd say give it a shot if you're able to. I originally wasn't so sure if I was going to like Splatoon, but you guys might remember how I streamed all three of the first global test fires in less than 24 hours, so you can see how quick it gets its hooks in if it can click with you. Alright, welcome to Rainmaker. If this is your first time seeing this mode, I'll give you the quick Cliff Notes version of how to play. So both teams want to rush into the center and try to grab the magical golden MacGuffin, the Rainmaker and you're trying to get it towards the enemy's base to get on top of this little platform here. You gotta get all the way up to their spawn to do it, so it is very tough. Now it's trapped in this bubble that you can see whatever team is able to explode that bubble first gets the advantage because it has like a mini nuke almost, but they could grab it here if we're not quick enough. Whoa, trying to get that guy right there, but as you can see, there we go. I got them, but then I got splatted. It's just a crazy, just splatting left and right as everyone tries to fend to uh, grab this thing in time. But we got it, okay. So now that we're moving, we're getting some distance, you can see on the little meter there. We're trying to push in, although that guy's going backwards for some reason. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, your goal is to try to get towards the enemy base, and that's gonna explode, because they've got more guys on it. Shooting it, you can see by the color of the ink there, and I almost got hit by the, uh, the good old killer whale. All right, they're going up that wall, so we're gonna have to try to take them out before they can get over there. He's falling down. I'm gonna try to killer whale that way as well and watch my back. These people love to sneak up. All right, they lost it, and it's right there. Okay, someone's also... <laughs> they got a lot of guys jumping off the edge, but that happens in these maps with the, uh, the road down there in the way. All right, I'm gonna... Oh, I can't actually use my killer whale. I was gonna... Hopefully people are gonna lead the way for me. Oh! Try to go through and go, go, go. Yeah, you really need your team's help here to get through. Oh, jeez. Try to go as best I can before they get me. I'm gonna try to splat up the wall and get this guy. Oh, almost. If I can get through, no. <laughs> so uh, most people will go along the, the direct path up there, but I'm trying to go up the walls because that is faster. So I kind of wasted a little bit of time inking that, but I think it'll pay off in the end. This is a risky super jump. Let's see if it pays off. Maybe. Gotta watch behind us, though. Ooh, there's a sniper, yeah. <laughs> so, Moray Towers. I think this is one of the best maps for Rainmaker because these high ramps here kind of protect you from the crazy Inkzuka shots that you can get with the Rainmaker. And they're bigger the longer you charge them up, so gotta be careful with those. But yeah, the, the, the map here is, uh, jeez, is pretty good for at least staying alive a little longer. Most of the maps don't seem that well suited to this mode because you can just blitz straight to the end and win very easily. This is a pretty close match, though. They've got it. Let's go. We only have two minutes left to try to... Ooh, somebody got splatted there. And they just keep going for those killer whales. I wonder if that one person's just building up a ton of, uh, of ink and then going. I think they're grabbing that Rainmaker. If, uh, ooh, no, do they still have it? it looks like it. Jeez. Took them, took them out, but they got me as well. I thought my team had it, so I was like trying to clear a path. That is very important in this mode. If you don't clear a path for the person carrying the Rainmaker, they're gonna have a tough time. You saw when I was carrying it, it was so tough to, to charge up enough ink to get going with it. All right, here we go. This is the time. Let's watch out though for, ooh, narrowly got under that one. Let's see if I can avoid the sniper though. All right, who has the Rainmaker? I don't know. They've got it, <laughs> jeez. Trying to get up here to uh, to get this sniper out of there. I'll try to get him like this and get out of the way before he gets me. Jeez. All right. We've, oh man, they have two snipers at least. Cause yeah, I don't know if that that might have been the same guy. Paul is just really quick getting over to the side. All right. 
that's that's what makes this map really tough in any mode is like when you got a good sniper hanging out there just sniping everybody then you're gonna have a rough time trying to ink some of this up so they have a rougher time getting back through Whoa, that was a close one all right there goes paul with his snipings i'm gonna try to make sure i can get past this uh area here and up and try to get him with that killer whale i might yep i know i got dad <laughs> There's a lot of dads and moms, I've noticed, because I wonder if people are having their parents make their, their Nintendo <laughs> accounts, and then uh, dad and mom are the ones who are playing, it seems, but not really. All right, let's see if we can get this. Oh, they got a Kraken. They got so much going on over here. Got to get my splash wall going to try to take them down. All right, got one of them. Help with that, and somebody else grab that Rainmaker, because i got to worry about that Sniper. Go, 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 go. Yeah, this is very intense. We're down to the last handful of seconds here. I can jump up and get these guys. That would really be good. Oh, I got one of them. Man, whoever... <laughs> Paul, I think, is is the most credit to their team. Oh, we got it all the way up there. Whoever that is, man, they are doing a crazy job. Look at them. They're getting real far. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Go, go, go. Throw one of these down and push through. Oh, jeez. We almost had it. Almost. <laughs> and we got it right up next to their podium, so... I think we won that one. It wasn't a knockout, but it was still a good victory there. All right, so that's one match down. If you do want to see more, we did a ton of streaming of Rainmaker mode. It was really fun. Our last Splatterday Night Lives were all about Rainmaker, and we had some intense matches. Almost beat an S-ranked team. All right, guys, this is going to be the last one. We are headed to Camp Triggerfish. And this is literally our last chance for an exciting Rainmaker match before the maps switch out and we have to wait a few hours to play this mode again. So I swapped out my normal 52 gal for the 52 gal deco so that we have these nice seekers. I think they're pretty good on Camp Triggerfish. And there we go. We got someone already from just splatting that bubble. Oh, look out. But yeah, there's this long straightaway in the center here, which is just perfect for using those seekers. And they are not too bad pop in that bubble. There we go. Okay, let's go. We already got the, the Rainmaker, so we got a good advantage. We just got to hold him off, and I'm trying to check up top, because I know little squid kids like to sneak around up on the top there, past the totem poles. My ink strike? Yeah! Okay, we got somebody with it. I'm going to try my best to, to cover my buddy here. He needs to go in, though, and get up the floodgates, or else we're not going to get this. He's just zooming around under, under the ink. <laughs> Careful, buddy. Oh, he lost it. Yeah, he was just trying to get, like, right up on the spawn. But we need to get that to the pedestal. Okay, ooh, I don't know if we're going to be able to... Come on, come on! <laughs> Shoot it! This is a big tug of war here, but it's looking more blue. Yeah, I'm just going to back up, because I can tell. And then we'll try to splat whoever grabs it. There we go, got two of them. Nice. But yeah, sometimes if you can tell that your, your enemy is going to get the Rainmaker, you might want to just back up and then automatically get them as soon as they grab it. They're kind of vulnerable. They're preoccupied with seeing if they got it. Ooh, they're way back there, but maybe we can ink strike them. Come on. Oh, we gotta watch ourselves though, because they are everywhere. Ooh, everyone's trying to head. Oh, okay. They're after me. They're after me. Help me. Okay, good. We're getting a lot of splats already, and we just started. There we go. Okay, they lost the Rainmaker. Maybe I can grab it. Yeah, there we go. All right, go, go, go. I should go around the side. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, okay. We're all right for a little bit. See if I can get over to those floodgates, though. Swim, swim, swim. Ooh, getting lots of splats. You can see how powerful this is. Let's go. Somebody make a path for me. Oh, no. I'm in a bad spot here. We're getting lots of splats, but it's not going to matter if I can't get the Rainmaker through. Up, up, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Can I get over that? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> it didn't quite ink it enough. Yeah, if you don't charge the Rainmaker much, it's just kind of pathetic. It just goes... Like squirts a little bit of uh, ink suka out. All right, I love the seekers because you can just follow them and get your ink back really, really quickly, and also shoot another one before the first one even explodes. That's how long they last. Oh, it's also cool that <laughs> it's one of the few sub weapons. There you go. You can just send it into an area, and you'll probably get lucky and get man two inklings. Let's see if we can get the rainmaker. I'm gonna corner him. Yeah, we got him. And ink strike right on top of it. We got the fourth one. Or maybe that was the third. I'm going to back up a little bit here because uh, they're moving. Oh, wait. We got the Rainmaker. Oh, jeez. I got a little confused there. I thought they had it, so I was trying to, like, prep and get my my Seekers ready. But I think we're doing better. Oh, 
They are going up top. Get him, get him. There we go. Man, we're going to have a crazy amount of splats in this one. Go, go, go. All right. Okay. They might be able to get up. We need to hurry. Oh, man. They lost it again. We really got to get up to that pedestal. But we're close. But they haven't even pushed it past the center. So I think we'll be okay. Another seeker splat. All right. This is my chance. Go, go, go. All right. We're up and ink a little bit. And we should have enough to get through. But they're going to head me off. Oh, no. Ah. Well, I got it up here at least. That's all we have to do is jump up on that little cone and we'll win. Come on, team. Man, I'm really missing the bloop troop, I've noticed. Playing ranked battles with randos, you don't get that same kind of devotion and, uh, <laughs> and commitment to the win. A lot of people are just, you know, I've seen people just kind of completely check out of matches if they think they're gonna lose and then everyone else is, you know, busy trying to win and fighting a difficult battle when you've got one player down. Oh, this is so close. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're everywhere. <laughs> We're getting them, though. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody's jumping to me. Come on, guys. Get back in here. I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. Oh, somebody's getting close, and I ran out of ink. Okay, we got him. And, oh, jeez. I don't know. We only got, like, 40 seconds left. We can push it. Come on, guys. Oh, I'm... Wait. <laughs> I thought I was splatted there and watching, but I was holding my trigger and I was just shooting. <laughs> that happens sometimes in the midst of all the madness. It's like, whoa, I'm not dead, actually. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> like a cat, you get another life. Okay. Go, go, go. Judd has taught me well how to have many, many lives and try to use them for the best. They're getting in close. 15 seconds. Okay. I don't know if this is enough time to push the Rainmaker in, but we might be able to. Go, go, go. All right, he's got it. I'm going to defend. Anybody coming over the hill is going to get seeked. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, they bubbled. Okay, back it up. <laughs> and he was just hiding there. All right, we did it. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Let's see how we did. And hopefully you're looking forward to those global test fires. I'll be streaming again, as usual, on the weekend. And how... We do 22 splats. That's crazy.